The first step is downloading TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a powerful analytics tool that I use religiously. And just letting you know, I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I don't use myself on an everyday basis, okay? So TubeBuddy basically helps us see the search volume behind certain keywords and phrases. So I know I already showed you the Google search method, the YouTube search method, the people also ask method, all those different methods to seeing search volume and seeing popular keywords and phrases. TubeBuddy is just going down that rabbit hole a little deeper and just getting even more nuanced to make sure that you have just the right title for your marketplace. And when you post that video, it's gonna get a lot of search traffic, a lot of search volume, leading to a lot of phone calls. So once you're on TubeBuddy, you see there is a free version. Now I wanna get the free version and here's the reason why. You're gonna need the keyword explorer to see the search volume. The free version's very basic, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless that they do that. They let you sort of get a little taste to show you that it's legit and you should definitely get the tool. Um, so we're gonna go to price and they have pro and star. So honestly, I have star and that's really just for some of the batch processing tools with thumbnails and descriptions. So when you have tons of videos, having star makes it a little quicker for just editing and changing things around, but you don't need that to begin with. You could start with the pro right here because that's the keyword explorer tool. That's the tool you're going to need for this video and just for the course and for your YouTube career. If you're gonna do it, honestly, do the one year. You get the big discount up front and you need to really commit yourself to being a YouTube creator, to making content, to get clients. Because if you don't just jump in with both feet, you're never gonna have the success that I know you will have. So I would do the year up front and let's get started and I can show you how to actually use this tool. Does our topic have a lot of search volume? That's actually one of the key metrics we're looking for and how does our channel rank for that video title? Ranking basically means, will our video be competitive with all the other YouTube videos posted? And will our videos show up when someone searches it? These same principles apply in Google. And by the way, these SEO principles you're learning, they actually apply to all the different social media apps in one way or another. So TikTok, Instagram, Google, once you learn these key things, I'm showing you, it's not only gonna make you deadly on YouTube, but also with Google and just all kinds of different apps because all the algorithms, they're all sort of the same. They're all borrowing things from another and they're all sort of ranking content based on the things I'm showing you today. So the same thing with Google, right? So the first page of Google for a certain keyword or phrase like Miami, Florida or buying a home in Georgia or whatever, everyone wants to be on that first page of Google. That's why the ads are there, right? People are paying to be on that first page because if you're the second, third or fourth page, it's less search volume, less traffic. Those businesses, those people on the second, third, fourth and fifth page, they're less likely to get people to actually go and read their articles or see what their business is about. Everyone sticks to the first page, well, that's basically the same thing we're gonna do here with YouTube. We wanna get you in the first five, 10, 15, 20 videos on YouTube. So when people click for, you know, buying a home in Dallas, Texas, or whatever, whatever your city is, they see your video as one of the first ones. Here we are in YouTube and you could do this with me. I'm sure you've already installed it by now. It's really easy. They have it for every single browser out there like Opera or Mozilla, Firefox or Google Chrome. So we're going here to Keyword Explorer right here. I want you to type in one main city that you're trying to target. So like I mentioned before, you can target three, four, five, six cities, but in the beginning, you wanna have one specific city that you make 20 to 30 videos for. That's how you're gonna rank and that's how you're gonna get more views and more clients. Okay, so we're going to type in just our city name. So I'll do Indian Wells because that's the city I'm trying to target. And let me sort of go over how to read the data here for TubeBuddy. So it looks confusing, but it's a lot easier um, than you might think. So overall score. Okay, so this is the overall score and that's based off this score analysis right here. So you see search volume, competition, optimization, number of videos and search results, number of monthly searches, you versus top ranked video, okay? This score analysis right here, this adds up and then it calculates and gives you an overall score. So this is actually showing up 10 out of 100 poor. And if we look at the score analysis, we'll see, wow, there's a lot of search volume. Uh, it looks like my channel's optimized. Here's the reason why, because there's a ton of competition, okay? 
This is showing there's 9 million videos for this broad term, Indian Wells. And that's why we would never use a term this broad. We would use at least our city and state or at least moving to Indian Wells or buying a home in Indian Wells, cost of living in Indian Wells. So some specific kind of a buying term or selling term for your potential clients. We wouldn't just type in city, but I just wanted to show you this as an example. And by the way, you'll see weighted and unweighted, okay? So weighted is how this overall score ranks for your specific channel. So right here, you could see, I actually rank for four out of 20 search results, right? You wanna be in the top 20 videos. You could see me right here. You could see me right here, see me right here again, right? And the crazy thing is some of these videos have a million views, 800,000 views, okay? But here's the thing, and, and Indian Wells has a popular tennis tournament, that's why there's all these tennis videos. Because I've niched down so much on my channel, because I have used this keyword, Indian Wells, California, Indian Wells, over and over again, whenever any, anyone even uses the basic term, my videos come up in the top 20, res, 20 search results. And that's what I was saying. Think of the top 20 search results as like being in Google first page, okay? Weighted is talking for your specific channel, right? So if you see search volume, tons of search volume, competition it's it's poor right because there's so many videos with this broad search term so it tube buddy is saying hey this isn't a good term to use because it'll be hard to rank in those first 20 videos but optimization strength this is how optimized my videos are my channel is so being optimized is basically in my videos, my title says Indian Wells, California, or just Indian Wells in this case. My thumbnail might say Indian Wells. Yes, YouTube's algorithm even picks up on the words you put in the thumbnail. And then even my description, the top line of the description will have my title in it reinforcing, strengthening that keyword, strengthening the data I'm giving to YouTube. And then it's making my videos even stronger for this keyword. And then when I start off the video, I'll probably say, have you ever thought about moving to Indian Wells, California? Well, here are five things you need to know. So then the, the algorithm actually knows the words you're using in your video. And if you don't believe me, that's how they do captions on YouTube. The algorithm sees the words or hears the words with the computer. See, I can't even explain really the process of it, but I know what it does. It hears your words and makes captions. Well, those captions are just that's feeding more data into YouTube what that video is about. So you could title your video, let's say, buying a giraffe. But if your video is about, you know, buying a squirrel, you know, that that's even illegal that you can even do that. Your video won't show up for buying a giraffe because the entire time you're talking about buying a squirrel and YouTube knows that you can't trick it, okay? Now, unweighted is a general score for how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition. So unweighted general, weighted specific, but I wanna show you, we wanna never use just Indian Wells. We would use our city and state. So type in your state now after your city and do the full, full word, not abbreviated. Oh my goodness, check that out, 85 out of 100. So look, search volume actually went down a little, but the competition weighted, weighted means in regards to my channel, how optimized my channel is, right? It's almost, it's in the green territory, which means the competition's way less for me using state as well, and then see optimization the same. So another thing I want you to look at is if you look down here, Okay, it shows you versus the top ranked videos. So part part of this is looking at search volume. So checking out the search volume up here. Okay, that's great search volume. Typically, you'll want the search volume to be at least at this yellow line for it to be a good video, for it to be worthwhile. Um, but it, this, by the way, TubeBuddy's not always perfect with this. So you know, this is more of an art than a science, but this will give you a pretty good estimate of the search volume. And then if you go down right here, you could see the average channel has about almost 2000 views on a video, but the lowest video view count found in the top ranking videos is 138. So my channel gets about 360 views for my last five videos. So because I'm getting more views than the lowest video in the top ranking uh, videos that are found, 
my videos are going to show up. So that means all rank. So when you first start out, don't stress about this. You'll have no views. You'll have no subscribers, but you could still, you know, niche this title down even more to see if you can make something even more niche that has less overall views. So if I type in Indian Wells CA, let's see how many views in the top you know, videos. Look at that, 45. So if I type in Indian Wells CA, it's more likely with a small channel, my videos can come up even easier than if I use that broad term, Indian Wells, California. So this is why I said this could become really nuanced. And we could see how would it look if I typed in buying a home in Indian Wells. Look at that, 94 out of 100. So the overall score is amazing, but look at the search volume. The search volume's yellow orange, but competition, man, my channel's a rock star for this term. Optimized, man, my channel's super optimized. Look at the average video has 754 views, 34 views. But by the way, that these could be videos posted a year or two ago. So as your videos sit on YouTube, they are gonna get hundreds and thousands of views over time. You might not rank, right? You might get five videos, your average video that you post because you're brand new. But in two months, because you made a really great video using the things I taught you in this course, that video could have 800 views then making your video rank. So just because your video doesn't initially rank doesn't mean it won't rank in a few months from now. That's why I don't want you to stress too much on this kind of stuff, but it's good to help you understand to rank you need to be very optimized, okay? You need to make sure you have a video with good search volume, look at the view count, and that's gonna help you when making your videos. So like I said before, just because there's not a lot of search volume here doesn't mean it isn't a good title, and I'll tell you why. So I don't want you to discredit if it, maybe it is orange, but if it's coming up really high for you and you have a really small population in your city. So for example, Indian Wells, I'll show you right here, has a population of 4,958 people. So you might be saying, Tommy, I live in a small town. How am I going to you know, get any clients? Well, even though this has a population of 5,000, thousand people. I made over $30,000 like a month or two ago on this listing right here sold for 1.5 million on 510. Okay. And it's July right now. And you could see the house right here, a $1.5 million house. And I'm not telling you this to brag. I'm just showing you the proof is in the pudding. Okay. You could be doing this too. And you will be doing this beautiful view, beautiful living room. Okay. And I'll even show you further proof. I actually sold this. Uh, right here, bought with Thomas Jordan, the agency, there's my real estate DRE number. So boom. So just to show you that you could have a city that maybe doesn't have a lot of search volume, but as long as you're really optimized for your channel, as long as you know, you're using that keyword, right? You see, I could even do Indian Wells CA. Let's see if that improves this. Wow, look at that. Now, since I use Indian Wells with my state, it went to 100 out of 100. That's crazy. Well, let's try buying a house in Indian Wells. Let's see if that ranks as well as buying a home in Indian Wells. Okay, so for that term in particular, buying a house and a home are still, both of those words work well. So for some cities, buying a home might work better than buying a house. So you just have to, you know, check it out. Just play around with it. And then over here, you have YouTube, Google, video topics, common tags. This is showing the search volume on YouTube in the last 12 months. So you could see when certain things, like you might have an event in your city, like I have the tennis tournament, say once a year, then that's a massive, you know, global event. Well, it's smart for me to make community related videos on bringing that tennis tournament, Indian Wells tennis tournament into the title, or even do, you know, a tour of the tennis tournament grounds, you know, and then mention your local real estate. I mean, that's a broad kind of feeder video that could bring more people into your channel. Channel, and a lot of those people might eventually buy homes in that neighborhood. I mean, there's a lot of like tricks that you could use by seeing overall search volume. Same with Google. This is Google. Google owns YouTube. You could see overall search volume on Google. Video topics. This is amazing because look, is Indian Wells a good place to live? These are related searches that people are typing up and you might see a ton of videos pop up. So if you type in buying a home in let's say Palm Springs, let's see, this is another city I target. Boom. Look at this. Houses in Palm Springs, homes in Palm Springs. So lots of just different searches and some of these might make good videos for you to 
to do. Common tags, we'll get into tags later on in this course, but just you could see pros and cons, Palm Springs homes for sale. So you might even find video titles within the tags right here, which is great. Now I don't want you to stress out too much about Keyword Explorer and TubeBuddy and looking at all the SEO data. I want you to know how to look at search volume and how to rank your channel, rank your titles so then you come up you know, quicker before everyone. But like I said, the most important thing is as long as you're picking a city and you're focusing on it for a lot of videos, 20, 30 plus videos using that keyword city and state in the title, you're gonna be a rock star and you're gonna rank really well for your channel. And I wanna show you how the algorithm works with recommending people to that certain keyword. So if you look right here in Google, I could type in Indian Wells, okay? And for example, that's not using moving to Indian Wells, what you need to know. That's nowhere in this title. You could see right here, someone literally just could have typed in Indian Wells and they would have found my video about moving to Indian Wells. So this is really cool, you guys, because here's the reason why. You could make a title that maybe doesn't have moving to, buying in, cost of living, pros and cons, but if you just have your keyword city and state in a ton of videos, people that are looking just for generic things in your marketplace on YouTube or Google, your videos will pop up because YouTube works like this. I click this video right here as a home shopper, okay, about Indian Wells. And then look over here. Wow, moving to Palm Springs. There's me again. To our brand new construction mid-century home. Pros and cons of living in Indian Wells. Wow. I'm gonna watch this video again. Oh my goodness, La Quinta. More of my videos just keep coming up. What is the cost of living in Indian Wells? I mean, this is how it works, guys. Say I type in Dallas, Texas, okay? So let's see what videos come up. Look at this, this guy moving from California to Dallas, Texas. This is obviously a realtor. I click his video and then YouTube, this is what they do. They wanna make a lot of money with ads. And the more, the longer you stay on the YouTube platform, the more money they'll make in ads. So you watch one specific kind of video, this is the recommended sidebar right here. And they're gonna recommend you more content for what you're looking for. So then, wow, living in Dallas, pros and cons. I'm gonna watch that. Okay, that was a great video on Dallas. Is there any more? Whoa, top 15 pros and cons of living in Dallas. I mean, look at this. So you just keep going down the rabbit hole or potential clients do on looking at certain kinds of topics. And YouTube is literally, they're helping us if we have a lot of videos about a certain thing in that recommended sidebar or the homepage. That's another way that people could find you. If people have been looking up, for example, Dallas, Texas a lot, then your videos can come up in the homepage. I'll show you right here. This is the homepage and you could see that I'm in incognito mode for SEO research, but this is already probably a video in Texas. Let's see, boom, a video in Texas. So you have the sidebar right here, you have the main homepage and YouTube, look at Dallas, Fort Worth. So the algorithm just feeds you what you want. My big takeaway is this, to stick to the list of videos I created in that blueprint for you. Create all of those and then start getting creative with other kinds of video topics. Everything needs to be about real estate in your community with, like I've said a million times, your main keywords for your cities. However, it's not a bad idea to put some of those titles in TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer to see if you should change certain words in that title to make it more effective. In our next video, we're gonna actually talk about how to create a profile on on your buyer or seller in your marketplace. So this is gonna help us niche down even more on targeting the right video titles for our future clients.